Hey everyone, it is Josh here, or the Ham and Caver, and today we're trying to light out. This is the Oda Pro ND51 dive light, four LEDs, and a massive battery. Um, just real quick, showing you three settings: bright. Or high, medium, and low, and off, and it's a magnetic switch. And today we're taking this light in the cave and we're gonna see how it does. Hey everyone, so we are in the cave, and like I said before, we have our Oda Pro ND51 light. And we're inside this cave right now. I have a headlamp on, on just the low setting, just for some lighting. Um, but we're gonna turn the lights off and we're actually gonna see how this light operates. Now this light was, uh, I got this from the fine folks at Outdoor Equipment Experts and Oda Pro and on their Amazon. I put the link in the description box below. At a price of around $90, this is a dedicated underwater dive light. However, this will never see diving for me because I don't dive um, but I can already tell you that the illumination on this light is fantastic um, used it before we'll put some clips in there but today uh, we're going to really show this to you okay so first things first this light defaults to high medium and low so it's a little bit reversed than what you're used to so today we're going to start on the high and it's gonna light this room up. Really, really super nice from the four LEDs and that really great reflector. As you can see, it gives a really nice even lighting. There is a little bit of a spot in the middle, but really not that, not that bad. Um, and this is high. And then I'm gonna press the button again and it's gonna go right down, it's gonna step down to low. You may not have seen much of a difference there, um, but there is one. And one more step, we're gonna go down to low. And low is pretty well suited for basically any kind of flashlight need you'll ever come across. Um, for me, I do a lot of NK photography so I usually use this setting here. This is high and this is the medium. These two are the ones I kind of default to. And I've never really had any issue in the past for runtime on this. This light can get a little warm because of the output. And it is actually stated in the owner's manual to that keeping it underwater for dive purposes is a way of thermal protection but it's never really gotten that hot. So, and I don't use it on all the time. Now, some things to think about when you're getting an Oda Pro um, ND51 light. While it is a fantastic light and probably one of my favorites, it is a little bit heavier than say the NT um, that I like to use a lot. Um, it is a lot brighter though. It has a bigger battery. So it's a 26650 battery instead of an 18650 battery does have a higher charge rate, and so it does last a lot longer. The other thing to think about is the fact that the switch on it is magnetic. So if you're in the cave survey and you still want a good light for area lighting, please keep in mind that while this light will serve you just fine, um, the magnetic switch may, and I've not tested it, but it may actually produce a slight magnetic field that will or could disturb like your compasses or any kind of survey instrument. So it's something to keep in mind. But overall, I'm gonna to have to say, I am very impressed with this light. It does a really good job. It does exactly what I want uh, for a light in a cave. And it just makes for really good secondary lighting. And um, for like good, um, setting up shots if you're doing a photography and you want to set up lighting in a, in a shot this is a really good tool to have so that is my review of odor pros nd51 dive light we hope you liked the review if you did please comment down below also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe also share the video and of course as always thanks for watching